I want to give credit to Sage Steele. Reports are that she has rejected a $500,000 settlement offer from Disney and ESPN. What has she rejected that offer for? Sage Steele was suspended for going on the uh, Jay Cutler podcast. Jay Cutler, by the way, my partner, Gratis Beer. Best beer you can find anywhere all over the state of Tennessee. I think you guys are going to love it. It's fantastic. It's available all over the state of Tennessee. You can find it pretty much everywhere. My beer. Jay Cutler's beer. All right. Why did she reject this $500,000 settlement offer? Because ESPN suspended her for going on Jay Cutler's podcast and saying she disagreed with the COVID shot mandate. Disney slash ESPN required its employees to all get the COVID shot in order to continue to work at ESPN. The COVID shot for young, healthy people is actually worthless, and I encourage you to go read Alex Berenson's report uh, that he has up right now about both Japan and uh, I can't remember the other country, two different countries, Japan and, uh, and one other country, where they have done a deep dive on whether people under the age of 50 suffered sudden death as a result of the COVID shot. And he says the evidence supports that that, in fact, is true and that many people under the age of 50 suffered sudden death and deleterious consequences associated with a COVID shot that offered them no protection in which they never need needed. Um, And that's what Sage Steele said, basically. There's no reason why this should be mandated. Woke Disney was furious at her for saying this on the podcast, despite the fact that they allow far left-wing political commentary from their uh, employees all the time. Woke Disney suspended, according to Sage Steele, her based on these comments, and now they are trying to buy her off because they have recognized that she has made a compelling legal argument. And so I give credit to Sage Steele for rejecting this $501,000 offer from Woke Disney to try to buy her off after they punished her for accurately saying there was no basis to require employees to get the COVID shot. Uh, Good for Sage Steele. A couple of other stories. Argument for you here. I saw this from my friend Paul Pabst who works at, uh, he's uh, on the Dan Patrick Show. And I saw this tweet from him, and I thought it was worth sharing. In the last three years, Bryce Harper, one of the best players in Major League Baseball, has 56 home runs, 166 RBIs, and 29 steals. Uh, Okay, decent numbers. Mike Trout, this is up to and including this year, by the way. Mike Trout, one of the greatest players of his generation, has 65 home runs, 139 RBIs, five stolen bases. Okay, are you ready? Shohei Otani, 108 home runs, 259 RBIs, 48 stolen bases, and also, by the way, he's one of the best pitchers in all of Major League Baseball. Just to repeat, last three seasons, Bryce Harper, 56 home runs, according to Paul Pabst, Mike Trout, 65 home runs, Shohei Otani, 108 home runs. RBIs, Bryce Harper, 166. Mike Trout, 139. Shohei Otani, 259 RBIs. And then stolen bases, Shohei Otani, 48 versus 29 for Bryce Harper and 5 for Mike Trout. This is not trying to take a shot at Bryce Harper and Mike Trout, two elite baseball players. But Shohei Otani also pitches. Okay? Argument. Shohei Otani is the most underrated pro athlete in the 21st century in the United States of America. Because what he is doing, both with the bat and in pitching, is so far outside the bounds of what anyone else in sports is accomplishing Shohei Otani is the most underrated athlete of the 21st century in the United States of America, and I'm not sure there's a close second 
we are not talking about him enough. I don't know if it's a function just of baseball. Maybe if he were playing football or basketball, he'd be getting more attention. But even still, I think that Shohei Otani, the data would reflect, is the most underrated athlete in the 21st century in America. We need to be talking about him more. We need to be discussing his excellence on a higher level. He could be the MVP and the Cy Young Award winner in the same year. This is flat out unbelievable that this could even be in consultation, that this could even be in discussion. He is Babe Ruth, except in the modern era. And that is even more unprecedented than what Babe Ruth accomplished in the old era. I'm going to start talking about Shohei Otani more. We're going to start writing about him more at OutKick. The single most underrated American athlete, American sports athlete. I know he's not born in America. American sports athlete in the 21st century, Shohei Otani. Come up with one who's even close to him in the most underrated aspect. Um, This is awful news. Uh, But I wanted to make sure I mentioned it because so many of you vacation where I do. I go down, as you guys well know, uh, to the Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, For those of you who are not from that area, don't really understand where it is, it's basically from uh, the the Fort Walton Beach area, right? Although you can go all the way down to Orange Beach, right, uh, in Alabama. Uh, That area, Gulf Shores, all the way down to Panama City Beach is beautiful, Uh, Emerald Coast, spectacular uh, beach. I think it's the best beach in the continental United States, that area. I've been to a lot of great beaches. I think it is the single best beach if you consider sand, if you consider warmth of water, if you consider overall surrounding community. Best beaches in the continental United States, in my humble opinion. It's also right now the deadliest beaches in the United States. And Ryan Mallett, many of you Arkansas Razorback fans, or NFL fans of Ryan Mallett's talent. Ryan Mallett died 35 years old, drowning incident off the beaches of Destin, Florida. Um, This is continuing what is one of the deadliest beach uh, seasons that I can ever remember. Riptides, seven, I believe, is the number right now. People died at Panama City Beach just down from Destin uh, over the, the, the past few weeks. People are dying and drowning at incredible rates. They've had a lot of double red flags up. But for people out there who are gearing up now that we are in the summer holiday season, everybody going on vacation, a lot of you may well end up on those beaches with yourself, your family members. Be incredibly safe. And I'm not an expert on this. Fortunately, I have never been caught in a riptide. But do not, fight. first of all, don't get in the water if it is a double red flag, okay? Don't get in the water if you see a double red flag. These riptides are wildly powerful and they are killing people left and right all along the coast here, including Ryan Mallett, rest in peace to he and his family and everybody who is uh, friends with him and connected with him in any way. Let his death be a lesson to many of you. Don't be risking your life and be unaware of the dangers from these riptides because even healthy and supremely athletic people you saw with Peyton Hillis who I know Peyton Hillis a great guy he almost died trying to save two kids in this same area of the beach right this is the SEC beach A lot of Big Ten people go there, Big 12 fans, right? But SEC Beach in particular. So I know a lot of you are watching and listening to me who will be there this summer, including me and my family. Don't get out there on the double red flag days. And if you get caught in a riptide, don't fight it. Let it take you out, float out, and then try and swim parallel to it until you find an area where you can work your way back. Fortunately, I've never been caught in one of these, but I understand they tire everybody out. You're fighting against it. It's incredibly scary. Swim parallel until you can find somewhere where you can make your way back to the beach. Be safe. Look out for others. Certainly, if you are a parent, be as careful as you can about trying to take care of your children and protect them in the event that they find themselves in these conditions. But on red flag days, 
on double red flag days, certainly on double red flag days, $500 fine on the beach to even get in the water on these days. Be careful. It has been supremely deadly. doesn't matter who you are. You can get caught up in this too. Rest in peace, Ryan Mallett. Uh, But I wanted to make sure that I talk to you guys because so many of you are going to end up at this beach. I want you all to be safe.